Hi, students. This is Professor Albano, and this is an introduction to the Cyber 240 course, Network Security. Before I begin this uh, uh, introduction, I have a question for you. I'm going to give you 20 seconds to think about it. Why are you here at WCC? Those of you who've answered this question and have a, uh, a great reason for being here and have a plan, you are in great shape. You're going to work your way through it, work your way through WCC and achieve your goals. And those of you who have not really thought about this question of why you're here, I invite you to think about it and think about it and come up with a good answer for it. Now, most of you will come up with this answer. To get a computer or information technology IT job, you realize that you're in a unique opportunity here at the college. We have something unique to offer you, but it's more than just to get a computer job, okay? You're here to make money after you get the job, a good job, to make money and to have a good living. If you have not really thought about this very often, think about it. Those that, that think about it and know why you're here will succeed more often. Okay, so the main purpose is to get a job. But what certifications are needed for IT jobs? Okay. These are the CompTIA certifications, and this is the path in cybersecurity, okay? So A+, plus, Network+, plus, Security+, plus, et cetera. But there's only two that are key for getting an IT job, okay? This is the first one, the A+, plus certification, which you uh, prepare for with your 130 course and your operating system course and network course to take this exam, okay? So this is the A, this A plus is your key to getting your first computer support job. Now there's one other uh, security. The security plus certification is key to getting your first cybersecurity job, okay? Now these jobs lead into two major areas, okay? And the areas that I wanna talk about are as follows the cybersecurity jobs that are out there. There are two major kinds of jobs. There's the red team jobs, which your pen testing course will gear you towards. And basically, <coughs> excuse me, and basically what your job is to find out the problems or holes in a business's computer system so that they could repair them, okay? But the most prevalent job are these blue team jobs that the CYSA plus leads you towards. Uh, when I teach the 270 course, next, if you take my course next semester, I'll be uh, taking 270 and preparing you for the CYSA plus. Now, the blue team jobs are where most of the cybersecurity jobs are because the bad guys are always infiltrating computer systems and your job is to find out, are they in the system? And if they're in the system, to isolate them and to rebuild that part of the system, okay? So that's a blue team kind of operation. So, the, so these are the key certifications that you need for IT jobs. And this course is gearing you for the Security Plus certification so that you could get your first cybersecurity job and either a red team or a blue team. Now, the entry level computer support jobs are usually two major parts, either on a help desk where people call in, in the company or customers who have problems with their hardware or software and you help them solve their problem. Another type of entry level job is computer support, where you'll actually go out with physical hands on and repair computer systems. 
Now, these are the typical entry level jobs in big companies. The entry level cybersecurity job is a bit different, okay? So these people are monitoring all of the computer systems within a company. And basically, there are several tiers. I'll call this tier one, tier two, tier three, okay? And your entry level job, cybersecurity job, will be tier one, like this person right here. And they'll be monitoring operations, monitoring email servers, monitoring database servers. You'll be responsible for several servers uh, and networks within the company. And this person will be responsible for some other part of it. So these are tier one kind of operations. And your job is to try to, first of all, find out is the bad guy in the system. And if they are in the system, to isolate that part of the system and to solve the problem of rebuilding that part of the system with the help of uh, with, with the help of tier two and with the help of business kind of partners, okay? So the this operation is called the Security Operations Center or SOC. And basically they're monitoring all of the systems and networks within the company. And basically their job is, tri is threefold. Identify if, the, and it's not so trivial, Sometimes a bad guy could be in the system for months before you actually know what's going that he's there and and doing damage to uh, by uh, sending data out that was critical for the company. So entry level cybersecurity jobs, the Security Plus certification is the entry level certification to get this kind of a job, a cybersecurity job. Okay. Uh, what you need in in this course, what you have to buy essentially in this course. So basically, we'll be using two things. We'll be using LabSim Security Pro. Okay, many of you have used it before in uh, in my other courses or uh, Professor Garcia's uh, course, uh, in which you have the following things that are available. You have videos, you have labs, you have weekly quizzes, and you have a book, which is fact sheets. Okay. So basically, uh, I, I, uh, this is the, the main thing that you're going to be using, but each week we're going to supplement it with a UDMI video course, the security, this is the security plus preparation for the security plus called SY-601, that's the latest, okay? This video will cost you about $14. The lab sim costs about $130 if you go online, and the bookstore, if you go through the bookstore, it's about $180. Now, what are the differences? First of all, the video, the videos in the LabSim Security Pro are typical fundamentals. You understand the fundamentals of network security. Now, the big advantage of the uh, Udemy course is that you have very, the person who's teaching the course is very practical and gives you very practical examples of how it's used, okay? There are no labs here. There's uh, quizzes, but those are only optional. Do them if you want. And the difference in the book here, these are fact sheets at the end of each module. Here you have notes, which are which are really neat, and uh, about 163 pages, almost like a book, okay? And both of these, the key thing in both of these is you need practice for the Security Plus certification. So you'll get practice in two places, LabSim and practice in uh, Udemy, okay? The um, the Udemy course is um, uh, is offered by uh, offered by uh, the, I'm trying to get the guy's name right now, but uh, it'll come to me as we uh, we're going through it. Um, and basically, there are 172,000 students who realize the value of this course and uh, and the review and most of them give reviews and the reviews are almost perfect on here. So the idea here is that you're going to get very practical. He's a, he's a practitioner and you'll get very practical experience with these videos. Okay. So this is what you'll be doing each week. <coughs> so each week you're going to be going through the lab sim modules and you'll be going through all of the modules. And at the tail end of that, you'll have a practice for the final exam. The final exam, you'll, you, if you pass the final exam, you'll get another certification. But this certification is not the security, is not security plus, it's called, it's a, a security pro from test out. 
But anyway, you'll be going through these different topics. First of all, you get an overview of security. And as you go through each one of them, you'll see that I've picked out certain sections of the Udemy uh, videos that'll help you understand uh, the practical aspects of security. So then you have to understand the malware, what the bad guys use the malware and what they do, what it looks like. And then you'll look at some design for uh, network security and diagnosis of network security. And then you'll look at the devices and infrastructure. Now, the key part is always access uh, management. You only want to give people access to what they're entitled to and nothing more. So there's two, two sessions on that. It's a long one, so I broke it in half. I broke this one in half, too. <coughs> so I designed these things so that typically you'd be spending about five hours on, uh, on the lab sim and about an hour on the uh, Udemy. So each week you have to set aside time and don't try to set aside time the, uh, on the day that it's due. What I would do is set aside some time and do one part and set, set, set another time and do another part. So you could break up the, the six hours into two parts or three parts. This way, it'll be, uh, you'll get a lot more out of it. So they'll be, be in better shape to, to take the Security Plus certification, okay? So basically, the whole fr front end of it uh, is seven weeks. Then we finally get a break, okay? Uh, then what you have to understand is cryptography, cryptography and finding out how they implement it and uh, wireless threats, virtualization, cloud security. And most important thing is, in the, is the bad guy is going after the database. They want to be able to get the data and sell that data. So you look at how you secure data and applications, and then you see how you can actually make assessments to see whether or not your system is secure. And then finally, you get down to incident response, forensics, and recovery. Now, this is a very big part of the, C1, of the, uh, the 270 course. It's almost the entire 270 course where you're looking to see, is the bad guy in the system? What are you going to do? Find out where they are and then recover from it, okay? And then the final part of it is risk management. When you work your way into cybersecurity, you're eventually going to have a decision to make. You're going to have a decision to make whether you're going to go technical or to go management. And if you go management, you're going to be responsible for, you'll be given a, a, a big chunk of money to try to protect your systems. But you, all, you don't have enough money to be able to cover everything. So you have to identify the risks and put the money where the most risks are, okay? And then at the tail end of the course, you'll take a final exam and that'll be available for one week, okay? And so it's typical, they're all done by Sunday evening and then you'll take the final exam, that's 300. So these are the layout of what you're being, uh, of the entire course, okay? Uh, and a typical assignment will be something like this. So you're gonna go through a particular module and lab sim, and you go through each one and then just briefly explain a, with a total of 200 words and what, what did you learn about managing a network plan? What did you know about Windows system hardening? So that's the lab sim part, okay? And that would take you, like I say, four or five hours to do that. Then you're going to view some very good uh, practical videos on hardening, hardening and network design. And then you're going to answer these questions. Why was it, pick a topic in there. Why was it interesting to you? Then explain how it works, okay? And then how you could use it. So this will be a typical assignment that you'll do each week. Do the lab sim, do the uh, UDMI, complete this and submit it by Sunday night. Okay. You'll have opportunities for extra credit, up to 300 extra points, depending upon your level of activity. Now, what, you, what you're trying to do is to, in addition to the Security Plus certification, you're looking to do to, to get some hand, more hands-on applications. Now, one way of doing it is joining NCL. And <clears throat> you'll join there. And basically, there's a lot of individual activities that you'll do. 
uh, and and there'll be some training on on how you complete them and how you learn. So you're going to have some very practical application. And then at the end of it, you'll have opportunities for uh, joining a team and have a team exercise with regard to uh, uh, seeing how good your scores are. Now, some people do this stuff week after week, I mean, year after year, as they're going through college, and as they're going through a bachelor's degree, as they're going through a master's degree, just to, just to practice it and get more hands-on kind of experience. It costs about $35 to join, and typically the club uh, will cover the cost on this. Okay. Another thing that you can actually do is to join cyber competitions. There's the uh, CCDC, which is a nationwide kind of thing, or there are other competitions. When you join these, you get some great hands-on activities of trying to play the part of the blue team. You have professional red team people that are going to attack your systems. And what you do is you try to harden your systems and try to detect, detect when they're in the system and to repair it. Okay? They're really good hands-on competitions and it's great to have on your resume. Matter of fact, companies do look at you when you're actually in the competitions and may offer you jobs there. Okay, so that's what you've got to do for the next 15 weeks. But after the 15 weeks, this is what you must do to be able to get your Security Plus certification. First of all, after the final, which is in May, form a study group, about four people that are like-minded and they want to get the Security Plus certification. And you're gonna have a, a team that's gonna meet a couple of times a week, okay? So basically in May and June, you meet a couple of times a week, you'll study and take the practice exams uh, in LabSim and UDMI and other others until you consistently get 85%. And, you, and you'll go over techniques and you'll go over uh, ways that you can improve because when you first take it, it's not gonna be anywhere near there, okay? And then for your, in, in July, plan to take this company uh, security plus exam. We give a half price uh, voucher. And uh, during the near the end of the course, I'll give you the details on how you actually get that. So I went over the 15 weeks that you'll be doing. And this is what you do after the 15 weeks to be able to get that S a security plus certification, which will give you entry into your first cybersecurity job, okay? So this is the end of the introduction to the course. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, what you should do is look at this video, look at the course outline and do the work each week.